torpedoes, look at that! Wow, let's get out of here, Skip, that's the Yakamura! The nips don't make them any bigger! Hey, Skip, they're firing on us, what are we gonna do? I don't know. We can't make it. We can't fight a battleship. We're finished. Finished! <laughs> oh, thanks, Chuck. I needed that. Take it easy, Skip. I'm taking over. All right, men. Battle stations! But, sir, that's the Yakamura! And the Yakamura! Full speed ahead! We've not yet begun the fight! Don't hardly see the whites of the rise! Remember the Vermont! Uh, me! Me! <laughs> that daring young ensign took command of the 73 and in a devil may care torpedo run sank the infamous yakamora <laughs> oh boy another great chapter in my war novel fighting 73 documented story of a daring young ensign who faced the japanese coolly determinedly fearlessly <laughs> After you're captured, you're not supposed to sneak up on people. And no weapons. <laughs> There's a letter for you. I just picked that up over the main base. Oh, thanks, Skip. Hey, it's my girl, Mary. She wrote me a letter. <laughs> hey, uh, how's the great war novel coming? Huh? Oh, great, Skip. Today I captured Hirohito. And that's only chapter two. <laughs> hey, how about that? Yesterday the Yakamuro, today Hirohito. We should be home by Friday. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, what, what? what's wrong, Chuck? Oh, that's my girl. She's not my girl anymore. Look, she wrote me a dear Chuck letter. <laughs> That's a tough break, Mr. Parker. What a raw deal. Go trust women. Well, I don't understand it, Skip. Mary and I grew up together. We went to kindergarten together. Had our first set of braces together. <laughs> Boy, how soon they forget. Oh, look, it's not as bad as you're making it, Chuck. All she said was she, she just went out on a couple of dates, that's all. Yeah, with a hotshot fry boy from the Air Force, big hero in North Africa. Shut down 30 Messerschmitt. Boy, have you got a problem? Listen, Mr. Parker, don't you worry. Things will work out. Why, sure it will. I don't want to bother you guys with my problems. I'm going to take a long walk. Into the ocean. <laughs> hey, wait a minute, Chuck! Hey, Chuck! Oh, Parker, son. Fellas, we got to get Mr. Parker's girl back for him. Yeah, we're going to do it. How? He can't compete with a guy that shot down 13 Messerschmitts. Why not? Mr. Parker could top that easy. What are you talking about, group? With this. Now, they say the pen is mightier than the sword. So, merge into action, my boy. Take a letter. Now, let's see. We've got a choice. Shall we have him uh, kidnap the emperor or sink the Yakamura? Have him sink the Yakamura. Kidnap emperor is unfriendly act. <laughs> yes, Ensign Charles Parker. You're going to reprint the entire letter on the front page? <laughs> Wonderful. I'll bring it right down to your office. Bye. Oh, Mary, Mary, Mary. Hi, Jack. How's it? Hard to pour! Hey, Arthur. All right, sir. Well, sir, I was at the wheel. I take full blame, sir. Carpenter, take this down. Yes, sir. 
I want this man relieved of active duty as of this second. Oh, but, sir, I'll tell you what, sir, me. From now on, Hot Rod Parker here is assigned to shore duty. And when he takes a bath, there are to be no boats in the tub. No boats in the tub. No boats. Boat. Boat. Uh, sir, if I may say something in behalf of Benson Parker. I say goodbye to Benson Parker. Benson Parker's leaving the 73, and that's an order. Carpenter, get me my cap. Cap! I'll get you, cap. Cap! Cap! Uh, Mr. Parker, here. Here it is. Now, look, sir, I'm really sorry oh, about this. Yeah. I don't <laughs> Does this affect my chance for promotion, sir? <laughs> you guys check the docks? Looked everywhere, Skip. Well, I don't know. I've been around this base twice. I haven't been able to find him. Hey, sailor, have you seen anything of our Ensign Parker? <laughs> hey, Chuck, what the heck are you doing? Oh, hi, Skip. Binghamton put me on pest control. He says I'm a pest that needs to be controlled. <laughs> he can't do that to you. You're an officer. Well, he says I'm not going to be one long. Ah, Mr. Parker. This ought to cheer you right up. It's from your girl. My girl? Mary? You mean she wrote me another letter? Boy, how can you imagine putting an officer on a detail like this? I can't even imagine putting an enlisted man on a detail like this. Hey, you guys, she loves me. She loves me. Boy, oh boy. Parker. Yes, sir? Oh. <laughs> Parker, get in here. Wherever you are. <laughs> Admiral Hastings, Congressman Fogelson here. Well, one of the boys from my district finally made it. And I want to see that he gets a medal and... Who? Why, Parker, of course. Ensign Parker. He sunk the Yakamora. Don't you boys at the Pentagon know anything that's going on out there in the Pacific? <laughs> Never mind, I'll drop by your office and explain everything. You call yourself an officer in the United States Navy? I call you a menace, that's what I call you. You're incompetent, you're inept, you're inefficient, you're inadequate, you're in... Inconsiderate. Oh, shut up. Shut up, sir. Well, don't you ever knock one nitwit isn't enough? Now I got a set of nitwits here. What is it? What, 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 what? Sir, it's a signal from the Pentagon. Congressman Fogelson, flying in from Washington, will arrive Taratupa 0800 Friday, sir. Well, thank you, Carpenter. Oh, you're welcome, sir. I haven't had anybody read to me since Mumsy read me about Peter Cottontail while she was stuffing me into my jammies. <laughs> Did your folks read you Peter Cottontail, too? Boy, didn't you hate that mean old brer wolf? <laughs> I just got to kill him. I'm going to give... What is this, anyway? Arriving for formal ceremony to present a medal to the hero of Taratupa. What hero? If I may what say hero? so, there is only one man on Taratupa who fits the word hero. You, sir. Me, sir? Uh, oh, me. Yes. Oh, but definitely, sir. You've always been my hero. And not only mine, sir. All of the men respect and honor you. Yes, I know, I know, I know. But, but Carpenter, a medal from a congressman, you got to do something to earn an honor like that. He's right. It's not him. <laughs> Would you get out of here and spray those weeds and be careful that all three of rabbit doesn't jump out and get you? <laughs> Uh, Congressman Fogelson, honored guests, it is with great pride and humility that I accept this unexpected honor. Thank you, man. Furthermore, friends, I would like you all to know that... Oh, Mikhail, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, uh, oh well, I, I came here about Ensign Parker, sir. I demand that he be returned to active duty, sir. You're the man of your superior officer. You get your hands off of me. What's yes, sir. Stand at attention when you're in here. Sir, sir, if I may interrupt, you sir. You may not interrupt. I'm talking. And when I'm talking, I want to hear absolute silence. Captain? That goes for you, too, you old goat. Oh, Admiral Elliot. How are you, sir? Very nice to see you. You man, snap to attention. Mr. superior officer. As you were. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, yes, it is a good day, Admiral. A very good day. Uh, where is uh, the Congressman Fogelson? Uh, the Congressman's arriving on the next plane. The Pentagon sent me ahead to prepare for the medal ceremony. A medal ceremony, sir? To honor the hero of Taratupa, Commander. Didn't you inform your men, Captain? Oh, yeah, well, yes, I, I did, sir. Hey, sir, who is the hero of Taratupa? We're all most anxious to know. Well, I assume that all of you here would automatically know who it is. Who else would it be but Ensign Parker? <laughs> Parker? 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 Somebody call me? <laughs> this is Ensign Parker. Ensign Parker? 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 Ensign Par
Mr. Sanson Parker? Well, yes, sir. You can, you can see for yourself by looking at a thing like that. Is it, yeah, I mean, Parker a hero? Hero? Who's a hero? You are, according to the Admiral here. Well, Admiral, are you sure you've got the right Parker, sir? I mean, do you, do you mean Charles uh, Beaumont Parker? Of course I'm sure. And what's he doing with that pick and shovel? Oh, well, I was out and back digging a tunnel. A tunnel, a tunnel. He's, been, uh, he's digging a tunnel, Admiral. He's, uh, he's on a, uh, a special espionage detail. He's, uh, he's uh, our tunnel expert. Tunnel expert? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. A tunnel expert. You see, uh, old, uh, old uh, dare or die Chucky here. He was uh, volunteering his free time teaching the boys how to uh, tunnel their way out of uh, uh, enemy prison camps. It's an honor to meet you. I'm Admiral Elliot. <laughs> tut, tut! Don't salute me, boy. It is I who should salute you, the hero of Taratuba. But Admiral Elliot, I don't think. Don't call me Admiral Elliot. Call me Bruce. And if you'd show me to the officers' club, I'd be pleased to buy you a drink, young man. Captain, can I have a drink with Bruce? I can buy him by all means, boy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and don't call me Captain. Don't call. Don't do that to me. Call me Wally. <laughs> well, I'll see you later, Chuck. Run along. Oh, sure, you hang on. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Commander. All right, here, one more snicker. Oh, no, 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 don't call me Commander, sir. Just, just call me Quinton. <laughs> you can call me Elroy, sir. <laughs> oh. Come on, hurry up, Hap, will you? You know, I just can't believe that Mr. Parker's a hero. It's sure hard to believe, all right. It doesn't seem possible. Yeah. He do more good for our side. There must be some mistake. Yeah, and we made it when we sent that letter to Mr. Parker's girl. Here. Get a load of this. It just came in his mail. Oi, vey. Well, that explains everything. Sure, the girlfriend went and black. Boy, are we in trouble. Oh, boy, wait till the skipper finds out about this. We don't have to wait. Hey, any of you guys seen our boy hero? Uh, last time I saw him, he was in a shack. Yeah, autographing pictures of himself to give to the nurses. <laughs> oh, brother. I gotta get down to the bottom of this. I need... Hey, Chuck! Chuck! Come on, Skip! Autographing pictures of himself. Huh. Ready for action, Commander. Well, what are you dressed up for? Dangerous mission. Request permission to take the 73 out and its gallant crew for a sub hunt. A sub hunt? A what? Sub hunt? No, now, here's what we do we use a 73 as a decoy. Now, we lure a sub to the surface. Now, I take a raft, paddle over to the sub, and I take this grenade. Now, I pull the pin. Now, what? I take this grenade down the periscope. Oh, what are you guys afraid of? I'm the guy's taking all the chances. Chuck, Chuck, you're holding a live grenade! I know, I gotta... I gotta... Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> all right. Who threw the grenade? This is your last Walla Walla Walla, Mikhail, you old... Pack of cutthroats are going to be up for attempted assassination for trying to kill superior officers. <laughs> now, before I lose consciousness, who threw the grenade? I cannot tell a lie. I threw it, sir. Get the grenade. I ought to give you a... Who are you? Oh, Chucky, it's you. I didn't see you standing there, but you with the... And out there with the... <laughs> My goodness, what a shot that was, huh? I bet that would have gone 300 yards if I hadn't gotten away. I'll have to be more careful, boy, when you're with the thing. There. That's okay, Wally. <laughs> oh, not only bravery and modesty, but compassion, too. Is it any wonder I picked you to be my personal aid? Personal aid? Yes, Mikhail. I'm afraid I'll have to borrow your executive officer once more. We have a lot of things to do in preparation for the medal ceremony. Boy, you aren't kidding. You're a mess. Yeah. Oh, you know <laughs> that, did you? <laughs> Very clever of you, boy. Come on, I know you'll want to work on your acceptance speech. You'll uh, probably want to say a lot of nice things about your old commanding officer, huh? <laughs> It. Now, why would they pick on Chuck for all this? I don't know. There's something weird going on here. Hey, Groove, you better tune the skip in before Hero Parker gets us all killed. Well, either way, we die. But this is less painful. <laughs> skip! What? Have uh, you ever read the Chagrin Falls Gazette? Oh, now, come on. Who's interested in small-town newspapers? All right, so hometown hero sinks Yakamura. What interests me is... 
Why is that congressman flying over here all the way from Washington? Hope. Jumping jellyfish. Hubba, hubba, hubba. It's our fault, Skip. We sent a chapter of Mr. Parker's novel to his gal like it really happened. Of all the lame brain stunts! Well, we were only trying to help, Mr. Parker. Some help! You helped him right into the brig, and you guys right along with him. Oh, what a mess. Where are you going, Skip? I'm going to go over and try to put a stop to all this before that congressman arrives. How did this ever get to the Pentagon? Who the heck reads the Chagrin Falls Gazette? <laughs> Sank the Yakamura. Parker sank the Yakamura? <laughs> Carpenter, where did you get this paper? Sir, I sneaked around like you told me to, and I found a stack of these in Admiral Elliott's quarters. Well, do you actually think that it's possible that a goof like this Parker could sink the biggest battleship in the Japanese Navy? Well, sir, an admiral from the Pentagon is here, and it says right there Judge that... when I can see what it says right there. <laughs> Check this out. There's only one way to get to the bottom of this. Get me Admiral Rogers at Comfleet. This could very possibly be another one of Mikhail's tricks, you know. Oh, hello, Admiral Rogers. Uh, Captain Binghamton here. Uh, oh, you knew. You knew. I, uh, I was just calling you, sir. I, I wanted to check a, a ridiculous rumor about the sinking of the Yakamura by... Oh, oh, oh you were going to call me about that, yes. Well, I, you... Uh... Thank you. He sank it. <laughs> this is all your fault, you numbskull, sneaking around, stealing papers out of the Admiral's quarters, making a lot of trouble. But, sir, you told me to... Out, 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 get out of here. Out, out, out. Oh, not you, Chuck, Chuck. You all right, sir? Oh, yes, just boy, yes. I was just leaning against the safe, resting here for a minute. Come on in, Chuck. Good to see you, boy. Good to see you. How have you been? Sit down there, Chuck. Make yourself comfortable. Put your feet up there. Get the blood oh. to your head. Do wonders for you. <laughs> How are you, boy? Oh, just fine, sir. Good. Just had a talk with Admiral Rogers. Very proud of you, son. <laughs> well, it's not everybody that can be the hero of Teratupa, sir. I should say not, boy. Say, um, why didn't you tell me you sacked the Yakamura, huh? Well, it was nothing, Wally, and I didn't want to worry you after all. You Sank the Yakamura. <laughs> oh, now, don't be modest on top of everything else, Chucky boy. It's all right here in your hometown paper. Hometown paper? Yeah. Hi, Captain. Chuck. Chuck. Yeah, what? 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 Uh, well, 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 sir, I, I wanted to talk to you about... Oh, I see you got a copy. Then you know all about the phony story, huh? Phony story, huh? I'll have you know that story was just confirmed by Admiral Rogers at Comfleet. It was. But, but this is ridiculous, right? He, Mr. Parker never sank the Yakamura. He's right, Wally. I never really sank the Yakamura. See, it was just a chapter in my war novel. Now, how it ever got in that... No, 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 boy. I admire your loyalty to old Yellow Belly here, but you don't have to cover up for him anymore. Yellow Belly? Cover up for me? That's right. The details are all right here in the paper, Mikhail. Indecision in the line of duty. Your exec had to move in for you and make the kill. But I tell you, sir, that never happened. That was just some story that the boy sent in just... Knock to... it off. I've heard enough from you, chicken, Mikhail. <laughs> Congressman Fogelson's plane is due in here in one hour. I want that scurvy crew of yours rubbed and scrubbed and disinfected and lined up for the medal presentation at 1700. Now, shove off. See you later, son. Let's go, chicken. Uh, chipper. Skipper. <laughs> oh, and the chucks. If you ever do anything like this again, boy, let me know. <laughs> Right this way, uh, Congressman, Admiral, right over here. Hi, Chuck. <laughs> How are you? Uh, Congressman Fogelson, I'd like you to meet one of my boys. I'll take over, Bingham. <laughs> Congressman, this is the man you've been so anxious to meet. The modest young officer who sank the Akamura, Ensign Charles Parker. My boy, your congressman is proud of you. Chagrin Falls is proud of you. Ohio is proud of you. Your nation is proud of you. I wish I were proud of me. <laughs> uh, what was that, son? 
Uh, sir, may I speak to you for a moment? Uh, I'm uh, McHale, commanding uh, officer of the 73. Uh, yes, I heard about you for shame cracking up like that. It's lucky my boy Parker was there. I hate one of my boys, too, Congressman. <laughs> now, look here, Congressman, I... Hale. Shall we get on with the ceremony, sir? By all means, I'm most anxious to see that this brave young man gets what he so richly deserves. Come along, my boy. Right up here we go. I'll just sit down. Right. Attention. Your attention, please. It is my great privilege to present the Right Honorable Roger S. Fogelson, Congressman from Ohio. Officers and men of the United States Navy, we are gathered here today to pay honor to a gallant warrior of the sea, Ensign Charles Beaumont Parker. Yeah! A daring young man who, without thought of personal safety, did shout those six defiant words, darn the Akamora, full speed ahead. In honor of this bold action, I am proud to present this award. What the name of Tammany Hall was that? Captain, we're under attack, sir. Under attack? Wow, 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 wow. That's the Yakamura. It's the Yakamura. Yakko. Uh -oh. Parker, I thought you said you sunk it. Well, I didn't say it. You're the one who kept saying it. Arrest that man and give me your helmet. Oh, sir! Oh, get my hands on that, Parker. I want... You called, sir? Parker, you're the hero. You get on top. Oh, no, you can get killed. I know. Then I'll get you. I will. Get on top. Wait a minute. What's the matter with you? I've got a pebble in my shoe. Oh, never mind the pebble in your shoe. Get on top. I'm liable to be hurt. I have the hat. I'm on top. No, you can't have the hat. Put the other hat on. No, not the one with the brain. The last time I ever write a war novel. Is there room for two of us down there? They go our bombers now. Our planes are here. Ah. Parker, you did that on purpose. <laughs> Next time you knock, I'm not going to let you in. <laughs> they got her. She's gone down. And I was here. Oh, wait till the boys in the cloakroom hear about this. Hey, we got her. We got her. Parker, will you stop knocking on me? You're giving me a headache. We got the Yakamura. Captain, it's safe to come up now. I know, I couldn't move. Parker panicked. The man is a disgrace. <laughs> now, Ensign Parker, I demand to know what this is all about. I want explanations. Do you hear explanations? Well, of all that dastardly lies I ever heard of in my life, claiming that you sank the Yakamura. Did you say dastardly lies, Captain? Actually, he did sink the Yakamora. Just what are you getting at, Admiral? Well, you got an assist on this too, Congressman. Oh, I did? When Parker's imaginative story was inadvertently printed as the truth, naval intelligence decided to go along with it, hoping that the Japanese would try to save face and retaliate. Sure enough, they brought the Yakamora out in the open where our bombers could get a crack at it. And, as you gentlemen have just witnessed, the rest is history. Hey, <laughs> Charles, my boy, I'm proud of you. Your methods are a bit unorthodox, but you're still our first hometown hero. Oh, it's nothing that any other guy from Spring Falls wouldn't have done. Why? <laughs> All clear! All clear. <laughs> I could just scream. Chuck, grab your socks. We're going to go out and do a reconnaissance mission. Yeah, in a minute, Skip. I'm just finishing the chapter where the daring young ensign blows up Mount Fujiyama and the entire city of Tokyo. <laughs> Skip! Don't you want to hear what happens when the avalanche hits the Japanese Supreme Headquarters? Those guys can hustle. 
Now, wait a minute. They think it's a giant air raid, see? But when they see that Mount Fujiyama's gone, well, boy, these guys come hustling out of there, and they just... You don't want to hear about it. 